right, heat recovery um, system. I think we've got a leak on it, so we've put some tracer gas in there. And we are on these two. So we're going to, have to take these off of here. Um, and there's a couple of spare ones on the, the one next to it. So I think we'll be able to connect onto that if we're lucky. Right, system holds about 11 kilos and we've took two and a half out, or 2.4, so it's lost a fair bit. And I'd put 400 pounds in here a little while ago, 10 minutes ago, quarter of an hour maybe, and um, we're down to 370. So, uh, unless it's leaking past the valves. I've only put it in the condenser, the receiver and the hot gas pipe work. So the hot gas comes off the compressor, through that muffler, off to the heat recovery and then back to the condenser. Um, so the only other thing it could be is if these valves are leaking by or if there's a leak on this part of the system. But we did go over this the other day. These marks on here that look like oil, I think, are out of the um, exhausts for the vacuum pumps. So they suck in like oily air. Um, the, other, the other one's got similar sort of marks on it. <clears throat> right, got those two pipes, uh, those, that circuit cut out from that one, and I've extended them, I've extended them um, with what pipe I had on the van, we could have done with a bit more softer one, but anyway, and then uh, I've used the bends that come off the original ones um, again just brace them on so that those two are on there so I've got to wait for that to cool down put a new Schrader core in there and a cap and then we put it on pressure test keep your fingers crossed so there's two circuits that's failed on that one right new Schrader core in there put the cap back on and it's checking it out with rain now so I might give it a few minutes before I go outside to put some nitrogen in. Um, I've used my little pump up sprayer when I've been doing some brazing. Just spray the area down. You can see where it's all damp under there. Just to set it up underneath. Uh, just to get any cobwebs that's under there. Um, same with the armor flex, stops that burning too much. But uh, yeah, you're better off having one of those to hand. Um, if something small catches fire, you can put it out with that before you have to use your fire extinguisher. Well, I've got a bucket with some wet cloths in there as well. Right. right, it's been on for 34 35 minutes and it's lost 2.5 pound of PSI out of 200. Um, I may well have started this a bit too soon without waiting for the pressures to stabilise. Um, so I might give it another 10 minutes and uh, see, see what it does. Uh, but previously we'd lost about 30, 30 psi in about 5 minutes, 5-10 five, minutes. And the heat recovery still had um, their pressurised from the factory. And that new circuit still had pressure in it. Um, I might get some leak spray and uh, go around that plug uh, while we're at it. 
Right, about another 10 minutes gone by. Um, still on 2.6. Um, I've been all around it with the uh, um, tracer gas leak detector. That's, that's, that's nitrogen with 5% uh, hydrogen in it. Um, You have to be right on top of it for it to go off. It's quite handy when all the refrigerants leaked out or something. You can put this stuff in. Well, that's quite expensive. I think it's about eighty pounds for a refill. Um, yeah, forty-seven minutes. Still on two point six. If you start the countdown too soon before the pressure is equalised, it can um, drop a bit. Right, I think we can get the vac pump going. Let's pull down to 820 with the pump shaft. Yeah, that's done surprisingly well. Something that's probably uh, 25, 30 years old. Well, the heat recovery is newer, but the um, unit is uh, probably getting there age-wise. Um, okay, might be 94. Let's figure, 94, 25 years in. So we're going to use the recovery machine to put the gas back in it. We took 2.4 kilos out, holds 11, so I've got a bit left in this one and a bit left in that one, so well that's a full bottle, so between the three we should have enough. Um, but we can weigh it all back in because it's labelled with the charge, um, so we don't need to run it. Because the milk's already cold, so we don't want to run it any longer than we need to. Right, we had 2.4 in that one, so we're probably just going to get to about 3.6 in there. So that takes us to 6 kilos, and it holds 11, so we need another 5 out of this. And that's an 11 kilo bottle. Although, I've, I've got a suspicion they aren't quite as full as they claim to be. Um, because they never quite add up. Well, I suppose unless you take them down to a perfect vacuum, there's always going to be a couple hundred grams of vapour in there. But, um, we're supposed to have took uh, 7.3 out there. So, I don't know. We won't be far off, will we? Well, that was not too bad.
usually like to have a walk around when I finish, make sure I haven't left any tools lying anywhere. And then uh, check the switches back on. And just do a quick hand check on any valve caps and things like that on these covers. I've had those two covers off, they're back on. And then just a quick look around. Make sure we haven't seen, uh, seen make sure we haven't left anything. Yep, and switch it back on. 